Hi guys, Paul here from PA Brew News. Listen to some funerals, local PA stuff, good stuff. Okay, first review after over a week because of food poisoning. So, let's see what happens. Black Rye Founders Wet Hop Dark Ale Brewed with Rye. There we go, after a week of nothingness. Founders beer. 78 IBUs and 7.5 alcohol BVM. There we go. So, obviously uh, just uh, mahogany, ruby hues kind of coming through it. Not pitch black by any means. Alcohol legs definitely sticking. Really tight creamy head on this one. Really nice looking head. Alright, yep. Yeah. Really sticky. Real sticky lacing. Really sticky body to this. Nice. Get some aromas. Well, you can definitely get that rind out, I'll tell you that. Peppery, little bit of a, kind of almost a sweet melony kind of a uh, a note in there, very sweet um, and spicy. Mm, actually, mixing with a really nice uh, chocolate note, actually. Yeah, chocolate, spicy, peppery. I'm almost getting a little fruit, like almost a strawberry in there, just a soft fruit note that I can't place. Pine earthiness. I like it. Toasty roasty in there too, of course. So, let's dive in. Cheers. Oh, wow. That's a nice ride here. I'll tell you that right now. Man, that's a pr pronounced ride. I just let it sit on my mouth in my mouth for just a bit. Rolled it around. It's a little colder than I usually like my beers. It's cold out. Um, that rye just sat there and started chewing away. Really nice. Mm, there we go. Really, really pronounced rye. Peppery, spicy. Big note. Chewy almost in the in the in the flavor of the rye. Really get a sense of the of the grain. Um, mixing the flavors themselves are mixing really well with that soft chocolate coffee roasted note. Really actually blends well together. The rye actually damn damn good uh, pairing here for the the dark and the rye. The dark notes of the the black ale or the whatever. Um, Black ale, I guess it's supposed to be a black ale, not a porter or anything, but still, a lot of characteristics blending really well with that peppery rye. Oh, jeez. I'm sorry, I only have one of these. It was bottled 12 17 uh, uh, 2004, so it's about three months old now. Well, mm, two and a half months old. Getting a lot of uh, subtle earthy tones now, pine notes coming through in the back. Still got that the, the nice uh, soft spicy rye. Getting a little bit of a kind of tannic astringent um, roasted note coming through now. Breathing some of that coffee. Mm, wow. It's really nice because it's bright. That's that bright rye, and I think that's the greatest thing is rye done well doesn't muddy down a beer. It brightens it up. It livens it up. And that's what that did. That and the, mix, the playful mixture of hops, I'm pretty sure, picked this beer up really nice. So overall, I'm going to give it a big old nine. Well, for, for a rye beer, probably one of the best rye beers I've had in a while, I'm going to give it a 9.5 just because. Maybe maybe that'll make founders make this a regular because I don't think this is a regular, but yeah, definitely. And look at the lacing, epic lacing. So I would I would just, just what the hell first beer back after you know a week off, 
really tasty in the face. Completely hidden 7.5% alcohol. So I'm going to give it a 9.5. I think this is just, this is a dog's bollocks. I've been Paul from PA Brew News. Cheers.